Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday in Marvel Strike Force, we actually had a little bit of good news, and that's that the Mystic Forces Rising campaign is now available, and Doctor Strange is available, I believe, from 2.9, and Vision is a farmable character in 3.9 as well. So both of those characters, if you can get to that level, uh, are farmable, which for me is, is good news, man, because I love Doctor Strange, I love Vision, they're really, really great characters, uh, but I haven't watched any playthroughs yet of the Mystic Forces Rising rising. Uh, so today, I thought we'd make an entire playthrough of the first two chapters. I think we can do chapter three now as well, because I hit 63 this morning. So we're going to do three videos, each one covering uh, each individual chapter. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun little adventure here. And for some reason, I don't remember doing this. I think there was some, some sort of bug where Mystic accidentally unlocked a while ago. I've got Mystic 1-1 unlocked, but hey, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of it, we are going to go ahead and do... Um, Mystic 1-1 one, one again, and I think the team that we are going to use today, I'm a little bit torn on this one, uh, but I think Han, Sentry, Yondu, Nobu, Black Panther, and also Mordo, because we have, what is it, Han, Sentry, and Mordo should be very, very good for the control, and then uh, Yondu and Nobu, we can summon a load of minions, and Black Panther hopefully should be able to clean up quite well, but we have, you know, Doctor Strange also if needed, so yeah, we're going to see how we get on here, however, we need to try and get this Han, Sentry down as quickly as possible. I'm thinking about applying the slow to him here. I think I'll go for that one. Um, and do you want to apply a blind? I think that would be a good idea if we could blind the hand blade master here and hopefully get some additional value there. Okay, got uh, three, uh, sorry, two additional blinds on the uh, assassin and also the archer there. So, um, uh, pretty decent stuff. And the hand sentry. Uh, do we have another turn to attack in? I think we do. I think actually the summon minions can attack before their opponent's hand sentry attacks. That slow is having some uh, some fairly decent value there. Not too bad at all. Right, that sentry goes down. We're going to use that just to clear the uh, evade off the hand blade master there. And let's just uh, attack him with Black Panther. And I feel like at this point, I feel pretty confident in rounding this one up quite quick. <laughs> okay, there we go. Black Panther, the additional turn there. I should have gone in for Electra, actually. Uh, but hey, it doesn't matter too much. Let's fire off the ultimate on Mordo. It's going to get them down. We're going to snipe down Electra. So yeah, Mystic 1-9 actually doesn't seem too bad so far. You know, just in comparison to the Wasp event. But... Uh, especially with these, uh, you know, mystic and cosmic campaigns. Kind of does depend on what characters uh, that you do have available to you. Okay, let's move on to Mystic 1-2 now. So I may have made a little bit of a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I accidentally went into the same mission again. I was like, this seems really, really familiar. I am uh, a massive dumbass, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, let's move forward. And again, we've got another hand sentry to deal with. So we're going to start off by slowing him uh, just to buy a little bit more time. I think here we might have to protect Doctor Strange. So let's apply the uh, the blind. And we got some fantastic value from that. Uh, yeah, we got it on, uh, what is it? The hand blade master and also the archer. We got it on Daredevil as well. But unfortunately, Daredevil is already blind. So he can, he can bypass the blind effect. Which is uh, one of my favorite little interactions, man. I really like that one. There's some, there are some cool little flavorful interactions in Marvel Strike Force. Uh, okay, where do, who do we want to go for next? Maybe Nobu? Right, let's get the uh, the offense up here so we can hopefully have a really, really sick turn. Let's just use the ultimate on Mordo, get some damage and the heal block. Uh, I'm not too sure the heal block's going to do much. I don't know, the hand sorceress actually might use her heal. So yeah, we have one more wave coming down after this. Just a lot of hand minions, really. Okay, let's get the Blade Master down. There's not really too much uh, tactful gameplay that we're having to employ yet. However, we should be able to get a pretty sick combo here. Let's go for a double kill. And that's going to give us... Oh my gosh, it's going to give us like three turns on Black Panther. This is a super interesting interaction because you can fill the speed bar uh, more than 100%. So you can have like a crazy amount of turns, uh, which I love, man. So, so good. You can see here we're just slashing away at Black Panther. Loving it. Yeah, I think that's one of the one of the cooler interactions in the game, and as, as well with the um, uh, the tier four ability materials, when we can upgrade Black Panther in like um, what is probably going to be like a month and a bit, because I assume I'm probably going to upgrade him first and uh, maybe take him seven star and kit him out and see if he really is worth it. 
because uh, I don't know, he might be man, he might be. You know, Black Panther though is only he only really shines when he can take down enemies and get kills on some fairly weak targets, which I'm not too sure is gonna is it gonna be a desirable thing for the future? Who knows, ladies and gentlemen, your guess is as good as mine, but it seems like one of the better uses for T4 ability materials, because a lot of the stuff, man, is so so just incredibly petty and rubbish. Uh, but anyway, let's go for the uh, the hand sentry here first again if we can. Uh, got Doctor Strange, got a bit of offense down on that. Ideally want to get this hand sentry down before he can stealth everyone. Um, and that is what I would probably advise the priority target being. I don't know, that Loki's a bit of a threat as well, to be uh, to be perfectly fair here. Uh, let's uh, try and blind uh, or stun the Blade Master here. So we've got the blind on the Blade Master and also the Black Panther. So that's uh, pretty damn decent. And uh, hopefully the Hand Sorceress uh, heal will line up quite nicely with my next uh, turn on Doctor Strange. That'd be really, really good to see. All right, let's get this Loki down here. Um, who do we want to go in with next? Right, I'm going to try and line up some some sort of sick turn on Black Panther here. Oh no, we've got Yondu's Yaka Arrow. That's going to clean up very, very nicely for us. Might as well use Mordo's Area of Effect. Get some of these lads down. And we've got Loki. I think Loki's about to apply his mind control. Let's have, uh, what is it? Some uh, damage reduction on the Electra there. Whereabouts is my Black Panther? I think he's a little bit off his next turn, actually. He's trying to get some sick kills going on there. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're... Oh, actually, we can get a good Black Panther combo here. Oh, no, I thought he could chain onto that one. Ah, unfortunately not. Why did I not go for that other Black Panther there, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, mistakes were made. Right, that BP goes down. Loki's going down as well. Easy game, easy life so far. But uh, again, I, you know, day one beta roster, man. <laughs> if I was if I was struggling here, I would be a little bit worried, especially when it comes to the later half of the campaign. I've heard, I think it's 2-9 um, is, is the problematic one, which is the one where you farm Doctor Strange. And then I don't know if actually anybody that's got to uh, number 3 yet, but we should hopefully have the gameplay for number 3 up, uh, or chapter 3. Eve, uh, it, it's probably going to be tomorrow on the channel because I do have to go out a little bit later this evening. Um, right, let's apply the offense down there. Let's get uh, some additional hand minions in the mix. Get the bomb up. And I think we want to take down Yondu, the Boomer, the Lieutenant. There's uh, quite a few targets here. And there are five more enemies to drop down uh, shortly after this as well. Let's use Yondu's Yaka Arrow, clear up a little bit there. Hopefully Mordo's ultimate is going to get the Lieutenant down. Uh, and now we can quickly snipe the Soldier. Oh, not quite there, unfortunately. Uh, right, who have we just had dropped down? Let's go straight for the Boomer here. Black Panther, can we get a sick turn there? Oh, okay, that was that was alright. Some of some uh, Ravages. And... Put a debuff on the sniper. Oh man, we're so close to getting down Groot there. When it doesn't line up on Black Panther, man. It's the most tragic, tragic scenario. Hopefully we can have some really sick Black Panther gameplay when it comes to some of the uh, the later chapters, though. That'd be really, really cool to see. Okay, we've got to get this mercenary riot guard down, and then the stitcher. And at this point, it's uh, it's pretty much an auto win. I don't know if I should just put it on auto as soon as I know uh, I'm gonna win. It's like I, I do on arena when I, I'm like, okay, there's absolutely zero chance that the opponent is gonna be able to uh, dispatch of my team with what they have. Uh, just because auto win goes a little bit faster that you can physically play, just because it immediately make those decision immediately makes those decisions. But uh, sometimes I don't know if you got a lot of characters that are playing out, you know, like heal effects and taunts. Um, maybe it could be a little bit slower. You know, it's a little bit debatable there. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, we have. Uh, do we've got to? Do we have to get the operators down? I assume so, but I'm going to go for Rocket, uh, just because Rocket's a bit of a threat if he's left alive. I'm going to blind the Wolverine to prevent him annoying my team too much here. And I just want to clear up this Rocket Raccoon. I think next turn with Yondu's Yaka Arrow, that's going to finish him off nicely. Let's get the uh, offense down on the Boomer there. Just trying to play good here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these operators. I'm going to get them down. Oh, no! Right, we need to get them down before they call in support. Okay, that's very interesting to keep in mind. I don't think we're going to get the right one down. Um, <laughs> are there going to be any more of them dropping down? Well, I would potentially imagine so. Oh, maybe we made a bit of a mistake not nuking them first. Actually, Mordo's ultimate, yeah, it, got, it definitely got the right one hand side one down. 
Uh, and also, very luckily, the left-hand side one as well. So let's uh, quickly get rid of these uh, operators, just to get them completely out of the mix. Because there's nothing else that's too much of a problem here, to be perfectly fair. Let's get this Merc Riot Guard down, just so he doesn't get a crazy uh, amount of defense up value. Let's go for the Stitcher. Uh, why not? Summon a couple more, just to be safe. Finish off the Stitcher, get offense up. I'm going to snipe down the uh, Wolverine if we can now with Black Panther. There we go. And we should be able to get some nice damage on the Soldier as well. Might be able to get him down. Oh, we got another Mercenary Operator in the mix. Right, let's use the area effect there. Tons of value from the Boomer. Additional turn there on Black Panther. Let's go for that other Operator. And then killing that. Is gonna, that going to win us the fight? Oh, not quite yet. Uh, okay, let's go for the Boomer here. And then go for the Sniper. Oh, man, Black Panther is uh, is coming in quite handy today. Oh, we've set up a, uh, a very nice little uh, roundup for Black Panther here. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm very, very excited for that level 65 fully upgraded 7-star Black Panther. Because my Black Panther at the moment is, um, uh, well, it's at 6-star. Uh, and I'm very happy that they brought him in as a farmable character on Cosmic 3.9. They've been doing an alright job, actually, with, uh, you know, once uh, a character's been out for a while, making them uh, farmable, unless they've been a legacy character, like Thanos or Deadpool, with those wonderful raid kerfuffles and scandals. Those have been an incredibly fun time. Yeah, man, they just need to make those raids a little bit better. Oh my gosh, there's going to be such a beautiful turn for Doctor Strange. Flipping all the buffs there. Okay, we're going to summon a couple of ninjas here. And who is going to be our priority target? Do we want to get Kingpin down or Drax? We're going to go for Kingpin, actually, just to prevent the bodyguards from being summoned. Because they're a little bit annoying. Um, okay, let's just get the offense up on uh, Black Panther. Yondu's Yaka Arrow going to clean up those additional Lokis and most of the opposing side as well. Damn, man, Yondu is so beast mode. I got the, uh, what was it? I got Yondu to level 63 as well today, which meant that I could uh, put the, like, 200 damage upgrade piece of gear in, and it was great, man. I felt like that's been making quite a nice difference to both him and the Boomers, especially with the way that all the characters scale up, man. Like, uh, damage is just so incredibly valuable. If you can chuck a trinket in that increases plus 200 damage, oh, it's doing such a good job. Okay, let's have a bit of a look. So many hand ninjas, man. I felt like feel like we've been through an army of these today. Okay, let's hopefully get the stun here. And unfortunately, we didn't. We got the blind. Um, what did I go for? Turn one on Black Panther. Oh, I did go for the slow there. Okay, I think we should still be able to hopefully get the hand sentry down, just because the slow has. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. He's. I, th I think it's likely he's going to get the smoke bomb off them. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, no! Okay, he didn't decide to use that, which is, is great news. <laughs> great news for us. Uh, now we can use the ultimate on Black Panther. Get another additional turn here. Oh, is that going to be two more turns? Right, ladies and gentlemen, hand assassin. Uh, and now let's go in for Deadable. And apply the ultimate on Mordo there. Get the heal block damage on every single one of the opponents there. Yaka arrow on Yondu. And oh, what do we have here? Hand assassin. Apply offense down on the hand blade master. Um, just trying to line up some more sick Black Panther plays here. <laughs> really. Okay, let's chip that one down a little bit more. Uh, okay, hand sorceress. There we go. Get the additional turn there. Go for hand blade master as well. Oh. Absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, let's get the blind on the hand blade master. I think at this point it is going to be pretty difficult to lose. So let's just go ahead, auto fight, finish it off. Just because I feel like we are fighting the same 10 hand minions over and well, the same wave of hand minions over and over and over again. But we're almost done. That hand sentry needs to drop. I think it might have been actually a little bit more quicker and efficient here because the AI isn't playing very well. If I could just finish this off myself. <laughs> but uh, it's always an interesting one to know. Okay, so that hand sorceress is about to go down and then there's Electra in the shadows and then we are finished. I don't know what mission this is. I think this is mission number five or six. So we have four more to go after this. But so far, like, the first chapter of Mystic hasn't been, hasn't been... Uh, e even with like half the power that I have, I don't really see it being too much of a problem. But I suppose it's also the characters as well, and what exactly you have to deal with. Oh damn, I thought I was on mission uh, 5 or 6, but it turns out that was 7, so we've uh, two more to go. Let's uh, have a look through this, but again, my roster, 
my roster is super, super stacked. So yeah, let's uh, have a look what is in mission number eight. And we have, surprise, surprise, a ton of hand opponents. Now, I think here... Uh, the priority seems to be this hand operator. There's a there's a giant arrow uh, under the hand operator. Okay, so we need to get these this operator down as quickly as possible. Let's apply this to Nebula and hopefully she gets stunned. Okay, that's fantastic. I want to try and get Nebula down before she gets those annoying evade charges. And it's just generally a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, so let's just full move on this operator here. So I'm gonna a couple more hand minions on Nobu. Let's get the smoke bomb up. Okay, Doctor Strange, is your turn coming up anytime soon? Ooh, damn, this hand operator is moving, moving a little bit quickly, eh? It's got some, uh, got some speed. Okay, there's Yondu's Yaka Arrow, Black Panther. I think he's going to have his turn before the next hand operator. Uh, so we should be good for finishing up that hand operator with Black Panther there, and there's not going to be any taunts in the way. Um, so let's line up, if we can, a multi-kill on Nebula. I think we might, may potentially be able to do that. Was that my actual hand sentry that just died? Oh, I'm not too sure if it was or just one of the additional minions. I think it might have been my hand sentry, though. Damn, that, that boy got wrecked. Okay, nice little multi-turn there. Let's go for the hand assassin. Thought we are close to getting the hand assassin down, but unfortunately not here. Oh, I think these opponents are a little bit more stacked previously uh, in comparison to some of the waves before. Um, however, uh, what is it? There is there's only one wave of them, so yeah, there's no more additional waves coming down after this one. Certainly that one hand operator you got a kill. And Jessica Jones, let's get Electra down. And then we've got Black Widow again. Single target attack with Yondu. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we only got two medals on that one. Oh, rest in peace, hand sentry. Uh, but we do have cable. I totally forgot that you could farm cable on this one. Oh, man, I'm super, super chuffed about that. That actually makes um, uh, cable fairly early game as well, because it shouldn't be too difficult to get up to and farm cable uh, to the best of my knowledge. But again, there's just such a power discrepancy in terms of the uh, the community's rosters at the moment that I'm really, <laughs> I'm really not too sure. Uh, okay, we need the hand sentry to drop, and we also need Mordo to drop. Uh, can we please get the stun on hand sentry here? Oh, no, we got the blind, that's rubbish. So we got a 50% chance of Mordo's uh, second ability to stun. Unfortunately, we got the uh, the blind there, which wasn't exactly what we we're looking for. We're gonna uh, uh, offense down on the hand blade master there, mitigate some of the damage that the hand sentry will be taking. Get those smoke bombs up. And there we go. We got the stealth. Oh man! If only we had wasp unlocked, <laughs> she'd be putting in some uh, big un well, big work now. But again, you probably wouldn't be able to use her in the uh, the, the mystic campaign, I would assume. However, actually, Mordo is going to do quite a good job of clearing all of the um, uh, the evades there, and also dealing some damage to some people. And we can get everybody out of stealth now that the evade is cleared. Uh, so let's get Mordo down. He's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Just going to be throwing out a lot of crowd control if he is left alive. Uh, oh no! Yeah, maybe if I want free star, Hand Sentry isn't the best character to bring <laughs> potentially. <laughs> okay, let's use the Yaka Arrow just to clear up there. Um, and, oh, no, we have even more. Yeah, we have uh, quite a few waves here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ten more opponents coming down. Uh, hand Sentry, hoping we get the stun off this one. Again, that's pretty decent there. But now our Hand Sentry is unfortunately in the bin. He's a little bit wrecked. Let's go in for Mordo. I think Mordo, yeah. Mordo and then Hand Sentry. And then we just need to clear up all of these additional hand minions as well. Oh, there's so many of them now. Hang on, can we get some insane combos? Oh no, you just have to kill Mordo there. Well, the more you know, ladies and gentlemen, the more you know. Was that was that it? You just had to kill Mordo? Is that the objective of that mission? What an absolute muppet there. Okay, we are going to dive back in and go full nuke on that Mordo. We want a crazy, crazy damage team. Uh, who's going to give us... I think Electra. Electra is probably the most immediate damage potentially on a second st turn. That assassinate's going to be super, super good. Um, or is Doctor Strange going to be potentially a little bit better? Mm. 
I'm not too sure. I think we're going to go for Electra for this one. Because if we get this, it's all about, we get the stun on Hand Sentry uh, the very first turn so that he doesn't smoke bomb. Um, and then we can kill Mordo, easy game, easy life before that. So let's uh, try and slow the Hand Sentry. Uh, and unfortunately he blocked that. Okay, can we get the stun on him? Uh, unfortunately we didn't get the stun there. <laughs> so that, oh, nothing has been going my way so far. Okay, is that all going to miss? Okay, Mordo apparently is uh, is resistant to blind on his first one. Uh, let's apply the offense down just to the Blade Master there. Don't know if it was better actually just to keep going into the Mordo, but now we can use Mordo's ultimate to get rid of the evades and then Doctor Strange right off the Mordo's turn uh, to, what is it, flip everybody out of stealth as well. Uh, okay, so Mordo has the blind, but that should not be a problem. Uh, okay, let's use the stealth on Electra. Let's use this to get rid of all of the evades. And now Doctor Strange, if we could flip. Oh no, we got a turn on Yondu. And now Doctor Strange, we can flip. We can get everybody out of stealth and apply the bleed. Um, and let's just nuke into the Mordo. And then we should be done. However, oh, I don't know, Black Panther, he's looking a, a little bit in trouble here. Mordo as well is getting beaten up a little bit. That backstab on Electra, fantastic value there. Uh, let's use the Yaka Arrow, and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, cleared up. So yeah, if you want to freestyle that mission, do uh, do focus on Mordo immediately. Learn from the uh, incredibly terrible and foolish mistakes that are being made in this video. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's Cable on Farm now. I'm super, super chuffed about that, because now we can farm Cable on a daily basis. And then we got Doctor Strange to farm in the next chapter, and then Vision. So the roster is going to be growing, hopefully, in the right direction. I cannot wait to get my Cable pimped out, man. I love the Cable and Deadpool synergy, uh, especially in my kind of, like, Mystic and Merc Blitz team. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy part one of the Mystics gameplay video, which was super easy and not really that interesting, but hopefully you found it a little bit interesting uh feel free to smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated apart from that take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day